Okay, super quick tutorial on how to chain ply for crocheting because I had someone ask me to show them. So Victoria, I hope this helps. Ooh, I've got my Velcro on there, gotta be careful. All right, so you're gonna wanna make a slip knot. Pull your yarn through, make a huge loop, all right? Huge, like I'm talking as big as the width of your arms, like you want it to be humongous. And then you're gonna wanna pull that third ply along from the working yarn, like you're just gonna take your working yarn, you're just gonna take, all right, so here's my working yarn here. Here's my loop, all right? So all you're gonna do is pull your working yarn along with you, just like you're working with a three-ply little favorites cake, and just start crocheting like you normally would, except now you've got three plies. So I'm just gonna do a simple chain here just to show you. And you just simply, you crochet with all of the plies until you get to the end of that loop. Yeah, we're almost there. All right, now, I'm at my loop and I'm gonna lose the yarn. So all you're gonna do is go into that loop, grab that working yarn, pull it through and create another loop like that and grab that working yarn and just create three plies again. And that's it. And now you've got a three ply to work with. See what I mean? Super duper simple. And it's great if you have a thinner yarn that you really want to turn into a thicker yarn. Let's do it again. So I'll do this one more time. I'm at the end of my loop, so I need more. Go into your loop, grab that working yarn, pull it through and make another big loop, and then just pull the working yarn along with it, the, the piece that's coming out of this the yarn ball or skein, whatever you're using itself, and just work along with it so it's three plies and just use the whole thing. And now you have a three ply chunky yarn, which is pretty awesome. See, this is a worsted weight. I'm using um, a six millimeter right now. So it's kind of tight because I just wanted to do a quick video but I hope this helps you, Victoria, and simplifies it. It's just loops and loops, and you just pull that other strand that's coming out of the yarn along with the loop, and it turns into a three-ply. And that is it. Super duper simple. And it looks really cool, too. See? So now, all right, one more time. I'm at the end of my loop. Just put your hand in, grab that work, that other single piece of yarn here, pull it through, make a loop. Just grab onto that other strand that's coming out of the skein itself. 
and just keep going. It's really simple. It's just like chain plying on a wheel, except you're not spinning it onto itself. That's the only difference. You're just letting the plies lay next to each other, just like a gradient cake from any gradient cake place. You guys know me, I use little favorites, but it's just like that. It's just like using a three ply or a four ply. It's, it's the same thing. You just have all the plies laying next to each other. And then you end up with a thicker yarn. Isn't that cool? Super simple. See, again, I'm at the end. Pull a loop through. Oh, that Velcro on my table. And then make it into three plies. And that's it. And just keep on working, keep on going. And that is it. See how easy that is? Now you've got a super chunky yarn. Looks super cool, right? Makes things go super fast too, so I hope that helped you. I know obviously I'm supposed to be using a bigger hook, but I just wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how to do it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.